Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be using this propane tank and this homemade furnace to make this bar of aluminum out of 116 cans. Let's get started. I'm going to make a metal melting furnace out of this old propane tank. So the first thing I did was I depressurized this tank and then I took the valve off. I then proceeded to fill it up with water so that there is no more propane in this tank. So now that it's safe to cut into, I want to cut the top off and then I want to fill it up with some uh, heat proof cement thing. So now I got this thing cut in half, I got everything cleaned out of it. I'm going to weld some handles on the side so I can pick it up whenever I want to transport it because this thing is going to get heavy. Well, these handles turned out pretty good. They're pretty big and bulky, but uh, they does a trick just fine. Like I can pick it up with these, and it ain't going anywhere. That thing is on there good. So now I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my batch of fireproof cement and put it in here. So I got this uh, concoction from a different channel, and he used one part plaster of Paris, one part uh, play sand and then three quarter part water. Well that got really messy. That plaster stuff is just really, really, really fine powder. But I got the consistency, I think I like it. And I consider it too like slushy. But I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, I'm going to need way more. So I'm going to use this bigger fire extinguisher. I'm going to place this in the middle. That kind of just sank to the bottom. Alright. Oh. Okay, so it may either set up quickly or has a very high suction. So, I guess be mindful of that, it sets up extremely fast. Close enough, now let's make another batch put on that. Well, it's been a while, so while I've been gone, I've been working on my propane tank. I finished it, um, it turned out really good. I can get this thing pretty hot, I have many improvements to make, but we'll do those in a further day. Tonight, we are just melting a bunch of aluminum cans. And with this 10 PSI regulator, I can get it to about 1600 degrees. I've been able to deform brass. I have not been able to melt brass. But right now, it works perfect for melting aluminum cans. So all I do to light this, take a paper towel, Light the paper towel on fire, and then turn the propane on. My crucible. Then I'll crank up the pressure.
Well, 116 cans. That's not too bad. It has completely filled up my crucible. It is filled to the brim. <laughs> so now what I gotta do is I gotta take all the slag off. That is a filled crucible. Oh, it's not quite melted. Maybe it is. All right, we gotta warm up my mold. So I'm just gonna set that there and wait a while. So I let sit in water overnight, kind of bad idea, but that's all right. So it's got these little holes in it, right there and right there. And so the aluminum went in there just a little bit, so I'm just going to take a drill bit that's the same size and drill it out. And I should just be able to flip it over and start banging on it. It should just come right out. In theory. We'll see if that's what actually happens.
A little bit of wire brush cleaning and now cleaning right up. I got this wire brush at Harbor Freight and it didn't fit on properly, so I had to weld a nut on there. Got a little bit of wobble too, but not bad. So this is my first time personally owning one of them wire brushes on a grinder, and I love it. It's so much better than that handheld angle grinder. Uh, I guess it'd be a bench grinder. This did an excellent job. Now my plan for this mold that I'm going to use is, I don't know if I can, but if I can find a metal insert I can put in there, I'll just make a metal insert and put in there. And then slap it in there, pour your mold, hopefully you'll be able to pull it back out. Put like a bolt you can attach in there and pound that. I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll make it a bolt. Ooh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna tap that hole, and then I'm gonna throw out a bolt in there. But, 100 cans, 116 cans. This might be a little more than two pounds. It's a little heavier than all those other ones. And yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm excited about this.